So the way it went down was, remember this is Scarlett's first calf. It's a beautiful morning. Just got done with the chores and man, am I happy to see that. We can actually see the clouds. Missed those guys yesterday. It's still smoky out here, but it's getting a lot better and it's supposed to rain today. There was not any rain in any kind of forecast, but now there is. It's supposed to rain at nine o'clock. And guys, I hate to tell you, I forgot to cover these things and that was the wrong night because it actually froze. Frozen and frost, you see, are not a good combination. I'm hoping that these are winter hardy enough and will bounce back but it's not looking like I'm gonna remember this. So I'm having a remembering problem. So if I'm not gonna remember, I've gotta set some tools in place. I've set two alarms now, one on my watch and one on the iPhone. Hopefully that'll do it. And I've said to myself, it needs to be part of the afternoon chores. So we'll see. And I'm telling you guys, I didn't wanna tell you guys, it's embarrassing. Uh, should not forget to do that kind of stuff. And I want so badly to have those veggies for Christmas dinner. But I'm going to tell you guys because then maybe that's another measure. Of, I'm going to have to tell you again if I forget it. No, I want to tell you I remembered every day and setting those tools in place worked. Check it out. You made your doll bed right there in the Lego box. That's nice of you. Hey, you know what we're doing today? We're going to go see Scarlett and her new calf. Thanks. You excited about that? Speaking of forgetting things, I, I forgot all kinds of stuff yesterday to go get that uh, meat at Warren Wilson. Like, I forgot the checks. We had to go back out and go to the bank ATM. So, tools. So, this time I printed out a checklist and I gotta go down it. And that way I don't even have to remember. But it looks like we got everything. That's good. Oh, taking my apron in case he needs me to help him with Scarlet. Better grab these too. Yes. Alrighty. Y'all ready to go see Scarlett and her new calf? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we're taking a big bear too? Yeah. You happy with that bear, Mr. Brown? <laughs> well, it's 10 o'clock. They said it's gonna rain at nine. <laughs> we gotta call them up and say. Well, the Weather Channel have said that. But you we'll made see. a mistake. Well, they say it's raining in Greenville, so. Ooh. Hopefully that makes it worth its way here. Hopefully it's not smoky in Greenville and we can get some fresh air. Yeah. Look, it's raining. Are we in South Carolina yet? We are not. We are just south of Hendersonville. But look, it's still so smoky. I know. Downtown Greenville, the rain is coming down nice. It is. We're gonna grab us something to eat at a farm to table restaurant. Yep. What's the name of it? The Roost. All right, we'll check it out and see how it is. I love the Greenville Main Street. That was easy. It's right there. We found a parking spot. Hey, don't anybody get out on my side. That's the street. Everybody's having to crawl through and get out on Gideon's side. You got it? Yeah, people are throwing in coins, making a wish. All right, let's go. Let's get warmed up. Well, so much for roost. It's an hour away. I know. Well, we were supposed to have a reservation, and I didn't know that. I mean, we don't really eat at fancy restaurants. I didn't really realize that that was fancy. Yeah, I know, and we didn't so, think it about being Sunday yeah. afternoon lunch. Well, Sunday it's lunch. Brunch. Mm. So, oh well, we'll find somewhere else to eat. When all else fails, there's always Whole Foods, the organic rotisserie chicken and the organic salad. We've slammed that rotisserie chicken, black eyed peas, collards, let salad. There's no sign of the salad. The kids were all over it today. And that's it. Strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Strawberries for dessert, guys. While we're here, the local uh, fire department is doing a supply 
we call this. Well, people are buying supplies for the firefighters who are yeah. fighting the fires. And the local fire department's collecting it. They want stuff like water, apples and fruits, or is that for us? No, that's for them. Okay, fresh fruit, fresh fruit and bars, like snack bars. That's the least we can do. They're fighting hard. <laughs> Looks like we are almost there. We only got one minute and 30 seconds, so it's gonna be any minute we're gonna be seeing this farm. And there's some sheep, guys. Is that their sheep, Rebecca? I don't know. Maybe. See a cow over there munching on the tree. I don't know if that's Scarlet or not. Oh, it may be Scarlet. Oh, look at here. Right in front of us, nursing. Good for you, Scarlet. Hey, good thing I brought my boots. We're gonna uh, try to go and help him uh, halter Scarlet. She's in a, apparently there's a bit of a corral and apparently she can be handled in there. And maybe we'll see how to, see if we can help him put a rope halter on her. They haven't built the barn yet or, or a stanchion. So it's gonna be a while before they can milk, but maybe they can rig up a corral for a stanchion. And then that way they can milk in a few days. Let's do this. You ready? Yeah. Everybody in. Yeah. We're gonna go and see if we can't rope halter her before we put her in the corral. It'll be interesting to see if she remembers me. My tactic is gonna be to get her by the collar. Hey, Scarlet. Hey there. Good looking calf you got there, honey. It's actually ended up being a heifer. They made the mistake, thought it was a, a bull, but we've all made that mistake, at least I have. But the good news is it's a heifer. You want, you want a heifer, because it's be another milk cow for you. She's no way gonna let me approach her, so we're gonna have to get her into the corral. There you go, Jubilee. when you control a cow's head you can control a cow we'll see <laughs> we'll see if she has a different idea See if we can't get her up by this tree and it's maybe has somewhat of a stanchion here. Hi Scarlet. Come on. I oh, know. You've been through a lot since the last time we seen you. You had a baby. Look at the baby. She had the cat just fine, absolutely no problems. She was really skittish, they say, at first, and wasn't nursing at first, so what they did is they herded her down through this field, and they made this corral. And once they herded her into this corral, and got her against a fence like that with I think they had a collar and a leash and then they got they were able to let the calf nurse and just like that her mothering instincts came into place and it looks like she's doing a wonderful job 
and she was definitely handleable there. I mean, we never handled her a whole lot because we had different situation. We would just herd them into the stalls and then into the stanchion, but this is great. And she's been fine. She didn't kick or anything. So I'm pretty proud and excited for them. And uh, I look forward to seeing what the next generation holds with these guys. All right, we were just about to leave. There's Scarlet and Jubilee. And over here is Nick. Nick, man, you're getting big. Hey, good job, man. Your first breeding season. Throwing two heifers, man. Good job. You are a stud. I gotta tell you, you know, it's hard losing Willow and Scarlet, but Nick, I think it was really hard to lose him because a proven bull, the first time around, he's impregnated Willow and Scarlet, first try. Yep. And they're both girls. Now that's probably a coincidence, but still. Both of the calves were healthy. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And he's proven himself coming back into North Carolina mountains and definitely coming back into the heavy smoke. Look at that, guys. And it doesn't look like it's rained. I don't think it's rained at all. Uh. When I was looking at the radar when we were in South Carolina, it looked like it was dissipating around the North Carolina border and it looks like it's going to the right of Asheville like near Charlotte so that really stinks. Since it doesn't look like this smoke is going anywhere anytime soon we're gonna check out the Home Depot. <laughs> the camera fell a little side of there. We're gonna check out the we're gonna check out the Home Depot for an air purifier. Wow. Oh look, they already set up the Christmas stuff. It isn't even Thanksgiving. Hey, do you know where the air purifiers are? <laughs> Nothing? No? no. Huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did that. Oh, you did that? <laughs> you scare me. You scare me. <laughs> Not just one, but two. One for the living area and one back there for where we sleep. <sighs> because they didn't have the big one. But I can't believe they're just not like sold out of these. That's where we're headed to the, follow the lights, follow the fire truck lights, mom. Okay. We're gonna drop off our uh, donated goods. That's right. Snacks and waters. Woo. Okay. All right, let's take it in. Come on, Mr. Brown. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. We got some donation for you. Some lanterns. Them some real lanterns. <laughs> okay, y'all enjoy. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Oh, they're gonna show us the truck. Bye-bye. <laughs>